files on chaos in the government of South Vietnam. Lieutenant General Khan, recent army strongman, survives an abortive coup, then is summarily exiled as ambassador at large and receives what is almost a hero send-off in a last public appearance. The 19-hour rebellion in Saigon is led by Marine and Army units who announced the overthrow of General Khan in favor of a former colleague of Khan who is now South Vietnam ambassador to the United States. But a loyalist battalion moves into the city and the rebels are persuaded to call the whole thing off without a shot being fired. The series of coups and counter-coups in South Vietnam since the overthrow of the No Dinh Diem regime in 1963 becomes almost dizzying. Observers say it could be compared to a comic opera plot if the implications were not so serious for the entire world. A press conference is held by the junta that stopped this coup. Air Force General Cao Ki is one of the military leaders who seemingly bailed General Khan out of trouble, only to strip him of his command and order him out of the country on the face-saving diplomatic mission. No top leader has yet emerged from this present power elite. Dissension is already reported within it. With the civilians made bewildered or apathetic and the cream of the armed forces preoccupied by the incessant coups, the United States begins to use jet bombers directly against the Viet Cong guerrillas and at the same time to resist international pressure for immediate negotiations with communist nations. In Saigon, life has returned to normal. People walk freely again. But after so many months of bombings, of riots, of armored tanks, who can say what is normal in Saigon?